Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. What attitude should a Christian have concerning smoking? Well, this is quite a question. Smoking in modern culture essentially evolves either tobacco or cannabis. Let's begin with cannabis. The federal government and the FDA in America and in most countries does not recognize medical marijuana. It's essentially the states that are doing it and the federal government is declining to prosecute. It's a contested debate medically. There is no consensus in the medical community. Additionally, there can be medical marijuana in quantities where it's combined with other compounds or it is non-intoxicating in the amount someone takes, drawing a distinction between cannabinoids and sativa. It's pharmacologically complex as an issue. But it is illegal and Christians should understand that by federal law, since it is illegal, we are called to obey the laws of man unless they cause us to go contradictory in our practice to the laws of God. Unless they're contrary to the laws of God and cause us to go against the law of God, we should abide by the laws of man whether we agree with them or not. And cannabis is illegal in most countries and that includes the United States and Great Britain. Nonetheless, Let's go further with this. Pharmakia is a form of sorcery from the Greek language. It is a form of witchcraft and the occult. I smoked marijuana for many years. I smoked it daily, chronically, habitually. And because I was inundated with cocaine, I was able to smoke high quantities of it. In fact, I would go to countries like Colombia and Morocco to get more potent strains than were available at that time in the United States although very intoxicating strains are now available in Western countries, especially Amsterdam, Holland, Britain, and America, where you have a very high THC content. With psychedelic drugs, you have a metaphysical impact. It affects someone not only psychologically and physically, but spiritually. You enter the spiritual realm through a door other than Christ. It is an occultic practice. It is a form of witchcraft. You are, by psychedelic means, using these hallucinogens, even if they're moderate hallucinogens, to have metaphysical experiences, which essentially are mystical. They're essentially mystical and pseudo-spiritual, therefore demonic in nature. They're a spiritual counterfeit. I oppose the use of cannabis and I think a lot more research has to be done into the uses of medical marijuana before it is legalized by the federal government, bearing in mind it is still illegal by federal law. But let's talk about tobacco. Much capital has been made by some people that Charles Spurgeon smoked cigars. By common report, he later stopped before he left this earth, but he did smoke cigars. That's for sure, true. It's also a well-known story that when Bob Jones, the American segregationist who professed to be an evangelical from the American South, went to England, he met C.S. Lewis. And he was astounded by the fact that C.S. Lewis both drank wine with his meals and smoked a pipe. Now, somehow in the thinking of the fundamentalist Bob Jones, after whom the university is named, it was a sin to drink wine or to smoke a pipe, 
but it was okay to ban black people from your church or from your Bible college. That was his convoluted, if not hypocritical and bigoted thinking. Nonetheless, he said he has no doubt that having met and spent time with C.S. Lewis, that C.S. Lewis was indeed a Christian in the sense of being regenerate. No matter what we may think of some of his doctrinal theology, this fundamentalist was convinced he was saved. Quite an issue, smoking. It is an addiction. Now let's remember, in the 19th century, and even in the early 20th century, the carcinogenic and other properties of nicotine and tobacco and tar were not as well known as they became known in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. We didn't understand that they were toxins of the kind they were and, and carcinogenic, as well as their impact on respiratory and cardiovascular metabolism and a lot of other things, many other things. These things are bad. Some have argued our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, we shouldn't poison it. I don't dismiss that kind of argumentation. But let's understand something. It does have a physiological impact and it is habit forming that is moderately addictive. I smoke two packs of cigarettes a day on top of the cannabis I smoked. And I smoked two packs of cigarettes a day with no filter. Now I quit when I became a Christian, but I was able to swim further underwater at the age of 28 than I was at the age of 18. Even though I was 10 years older, I could swim underwater a further distance when I was 28 than I could when I was 18, despite being a decade older, simply because I'd stopped smoking cigarettes and cannabis. It's not a good thing and it's bad for one's witness and bad for one's testimony to smoke cigarettes. Now look, if a Christian feels free in the Lord to have an occasional pipe of tobacco or an occasional cigar, occasionally, and they don't do it in such a way that it's going to damage their testimony or their witness or put a stumbling block before another believer. If they do it privately and go off somewhere, they, you know, once a month, twice a month after dinner, have a cigar, I'm not going to say that's necessarily a sin. Anything not done in faith is sin, but I'm not going to condemn people who discreetly will occasionally have an after dinner cigar or something like this. But habitual smoking, is definitely a sin. And cigarette smoking is something no Christian should do. It is wrong. If you are a Christian who smokes, the Lord wants you to stop and he will give you the power to stop. I smoke like a proverbial chimney, cannabis and tobacco. I smoked and smoked and smoked. If the Lord can deliver me, as it were, from smoking, he can deliver you. It's something that Jesus does not want you to do. No Christians should not smoke cigarettes, and no Christians should not use cannabis. Neither should they use tobacco in any other form habitually. God bless.